I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important multiple choice question for our grade 10 students. You learn concepts about trigonometry in special triangles and based on this you might find test questions in even uh, good competitive exams and for university admissions also uh, this is a very important test question. So let's look into the question itself. We need to find area of an equilateral triangle inscribed in a circle of radius r. So here is the triangle given to you within a circle with radius r. So that is the center of the circle and we are given that the radius is r that means you can take this side as r. Okay. Now what is area of triangle? Area of triangle is half of base times height. Now in this case we are given r but the height is r, r plus this much right. So let me label this let's say we form a triangle ABC with center at O let me call this point as P which is perpendicular to the base. Now each side is equal right but this will be like half of that right. Now how do we find the side of the triangle? Well we know that the total angle here is 60 degrees. So each angle is going to be how much? At the base this is 30 degrees right so these angles are 30 degrees so what we have here is a 30 60 90 triangle correct so we can solve with 30 60 90 triangle so we'll take the special triangle which is 30 60 90 and then do this question without calculator so that is kind of important so the triangle which we are considering is let me just sketch this. In trigonometry, these are very important triangles to always consider. Ratio of the sides will be as shown. And that is 30 degrees. So, if I want to find OP, then we know that sine of 30 is equal to OP over, that is also R, right? So, OP is equal to r sine 30. Perfect. Now what is BP equals to? Uh, cosine 30 will give us BP right. So, so let's write we can write down this value also. Sine 30 is half. So we get we get OP equals to half of r since sine 30 is equal to half right from this triangle okay as far as bp is concerned bp is the cosine of 30 right so it is r times cos of 30 which is equal to cos of 30 square root 3 over 2 so it is square root 3 over 2 times r but the base is how much base is 2 times bp right that means it is 2 times square root 3 over 2 times r so 2 and 2 cancel right so it is square root 3 r so what we have here is that the base let me rewrite this so we have height AP as equal to R plus OP which is R plus OP is uh, half R right let me highlight this portion and BP uh, and the base base is 2 BP which is which is square root 3 R. Okay, so what we have here is that 
a to p is r plus o p and o p is half r right which is 3 over 2 r is it okay and b c which is the base is equals to square root 3 r so area is how much area is half of product of these two so we have 3 over 2 r times square root 3 r correct so if you multiply you get 3 square root 3 over 2 r square which is option b for us do you sorry i got uh, i didn't write this half here so so we have to multiply with this half also so it is 1 over 4 i'm sorry so it is formula is 3 square root 3 over 4 half times this 2 times 2 is 4 right and 3 square root 3 so forgot this so it is as you can see if you multiply this you get 3 square root 3 r square divided by 2 times 2 4 right so this is 4 not half so this is the correct answer correct so that is how you are going to solve this question so we found that b to c which is the base is square root 3 r and the height is 3 by 2 r right so r plus half r 3 by 2 r so you have to multiply these two and then divide by 2 so you get 1 over 4 correct so that becomes the answer so we have the answer as 3 square root 3 over 4 r square it is extremely important result i hope the steps are absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views and try to remember this answer as you might just need it at times thanks for watching and all the best